Welcome and welcome, 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 welcome. And I'm glad to be back again uh, vlogging. Uh, I haven't been a while. I've been off the air for a while and uh, I'm glad I'm back. Uh, I guess it's it's the times, you know, when you're kind of really uh, tied up with a lot of things to do and a lot of things that you need to do and to finish. And then eventually, at the end of it all, you find yourself doing nothing. So, but anyway, I'm back to blogging. My name is Ricky for Ricky Laxo Reports. Um, I'm glad I've been uh, asked today to uh, be here at the International Culinary Arts in uh, Salmia, where uh, a bunch of students are actually doing their first uh, chocolate uh, cake, or what they call the first uh, cake, which is a part of the advanced baking course. Um, for the advanced baking courses, they have uh, apparently, they need to do uh, different types of cakes, including the decorations that comes into the top of the cakes so um, it's very challenging because you need to use a lot of creativity a lot of control with the arms uh, especially with your hands and as you work with them and and most especially is when you start working with uh, different types of uh, you know uh, toppings designs creating uh, uh, what you wanted to put on top of the cakes and uh, today I'm here at the International Culinary Arts and uh, I'm glad that uh, I'll be able to probably speak to some of them and uh, talk to them why they came for classes as well as why are they here and uh, what do they want to do when they finish these classes. So please join me as I uh, immerse into the first uh, baking class for cakes of the International Culinary Arts located right at the Bessonin floor of Al Salam Mall here in Salmia. This is Ricky Laxa for Ricky Laxa Reports. And I also had a chance to speak to uh, some of the students and found out the reasons why they come to the classes. I also had a chance to speak to the uh, master chef, his name is Romel Combate, who uh, sort of mentioned the importance of being in the class. Here are my short interviews. Good morning, chef. Good morning. Chef, hi. How are you? Uh, question. Uh, what is the reason why you took these classes? Uh, I took this class because I want to learn how to bake, what's the right measurement, because I'm not used to baking. I'm not, I don't really have any idea how to bake, so I want to learn what's the right measurement, how to do the right temperature and everything that you do in baking. I see. But you've been selling products, right? Yes, uh, I've been selling kakanin. I'm uh, good in it. The traditional Filipino? The traditional Filipino kakanin. Okay. So have you ever tried uh, preparing other kakanins from other countries? Or it's just the Philippines? Uh, no, I never tried other countries. Only our kakanin. Ice. Okay. So how good are you from 1 to 10 in the kakanin? You rate me 10 after. <laughs> Sir, please introduce yourself. Uh, hi, my name is Giselle Ortega. I'm working as an uh, uh, office manager in a construction company. And I'm a mother of two, and I'm learning how to make that now at ICSA. Thank you so much, Chef. Chef, please introduce yourself. Hey, I am uh, Shella Mayan Lau. Uh, I am working as a travel agent, business uh, development manager in Adventure Tours. And I'm also a businesswoman. I see. Chef, uh, this is your second course, right? Or first course? First course. Okay, how do you find it so far? It's uh, really good and um, I find it uh, like it's very really interesting. Uh, it's very interesting. I see. What do you plan to do? Business bato or is this for personal consumption? Uh, business and personal. <laughs> I see. Here or back in the Philippines or wherever? Yeah. I see, all right. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Chef Gracia, good morning. Hi, good morning, Chef. Yes, Chef, how are you doing this class? This class is very good. Really? Very good. And good classmates and good... Good trainers as well. Chef, what did you achieve in the past with the baking classes? You've done commercial baking, no? What is the technique you are going to do today? Ganache. Get the ganache. Yes. Ayan. 
Okay. Chef, reason why you're taking these classes? Are they a business ma later or okay. something? Okay. Uh, first and foremost, for my family. For myself, as an achievement, and then for my family. Ayaw. Then, everyone is for business and future. Yes. You know, kasi this pandemic, kailangan marami ka alternatives or options para sa iyo future. Chef, introduce mo naman sa rin, di ba sino ka please? Okay, I am a... Gracia Board of Diary Gracia.com uh, Writer, author, and blogger, reporter, Thank you so much, Chef. Good morning, Chef. Hi, good morning. We're so busy, huh? Yes. A little bit. Chef, this is your... You, you came in a little bit a day late, no, from the class. I think they forgot to inform you. Yes. <laughs> Chef, anyway, how's the class so far? It's, it's been a few minutes now, and uh, I see that your hands are full. Yeah, now, right now I feel nervous. This is my first time. <laughs> but it's very interesting. Interesting, yeah. Yes. Chef, why are you taking this course? I don't know, reason. Why are you taking the course? Uh, I have an experience for baking for my personal. Okay. And now I want to learn more. I see, okay. Yes. So, um, what, do you, what do you plan to do in the future? I know, open a business or something? Yeah. Oy, galeng. Also, we are online. Yes, <laughs> important. <laughs> All right, Chef. Please introduce yourself, Chef, please. Please introduce yourself. You are? Uh, hi, I'm Krista Guarabini Moringo, and I'm the Sarwan. I see. Okay, thank you, Chef. Good morning, Chef. Hi, good morning. Hi, hi Chef. Please introduce yourself, Chef. I'm Judy Krista. I work at the National Research Services in Peter. I see. Chef, this is your what? Second course? This is my second course. Okay. My first course is com uh, commercial baking and then this is the, the second Ah, what is the difference, Chef? Sa commercial and saka sa advanced? Actually, in commercial, those are all uh, multi as pastry and commercially available. Okay. Uh, and this one is about? This one is uh, advanced baking, which I really enjoy. I see. And okay. this is what I love and it's a stretch So, Chef, what do you plan to do after you finish this? Actually, I already resigned in uh, my company, <laughs> okay. so I, uh, I want to have an online business in the Philippines. I see, okay, when it comes to cakes and yes. stuff like that, I see. Don't you plan to open any business, like your own bakery or something? Uh, not yet, I, I didn't plan yet, but it's... First, I want to have an online business. I see, all right. That's it. But the bakery is not yet. All right, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Chef, good morning. Good morning. Chef, introduce yourself, Muna, please. You are? I'm Chef Ling. Uh, I'm working from Salon and I also part time in the restaurant of the Lingo Field. I see. Yes, then I encourage everyone, even if you have, are busy in your schedule, just come in ICA school so you can learn more. Like me, even if I don't have anything to. Uh, I come to the Philippines and I learn more about this. Mm. Thank you so, so much. Do you plan to open a business in the Philippines later about bakeries and stuff? Yes, this is my dream to open, inshallah. Your own business? Yes. I see. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Good morning, Chef. Good morning, Chef. Chef, please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Smile. I'm working in uh, Get Force. HR department. I have to look on mask. No, no, no need. No need. It's okay. It's uh, okay. Uh, HR administrator. I'm very excited that I found the culinary international uh, school. So I'm really excited to learn a lot of things like baking and then, you know. So, so how is the experience so far, Sharon? I'm really happy. Really? I found the culinary. Very good. So what, what, what are you doing today? What is this technique, Chef? Uh, uh -huh. And then, you know? Uh, do you sell your stuff? Do you sell your cakes or what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I see. Okay. All right. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. Chef, can you please introduce yourself? I'm Marita. Yeah. Uh, I'm working as a uh, in Photoshop uh, company. Yes. Here in Kuwait. Uh, and uh, I'm married. Yeah. I have four children. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, Matipid. Papa. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so, Chef, question. Why did you take up this course? Do you want to bake? Yes. Okay, yes. why did you take up this course? Uh, just uh, for the future, uh, I have planned to uh, open your own business. Open my own business in Pakistan. Uh, uh -huh. In the country of my husband. I see. Okay, okay, Chef. I see. Did, have you ever tried the baking any Pakistani cakes before? Uh, no, no, no. Yes, I see. Uh, I, I, I make just, uh, I try practicing for uh, birthday my children. I see, okay. All right, <laughs> that's good. Every, every year, so... So you plan to m more professionalize uh, yes. it? That's why I joined this. I that's see, right. all right. Good luck, Chef. Okay, thank you. Chef, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Chef. Chef, I know you've been teaching for a while. Um, how is the experience so far? Be, being in a school and teaching at wow. the same time, yeah. It's fantastic. Because uh, uh, mostly, when you're teaching, some of them is uh, zero. But when you in a time of teaching, they can get automatically. Is, they are easy to catch. What is the what is the knowledge you want to share? What you want to give? Especially uh, those are uh, mostly same Filipino or Filipino I nationality. See. I'm happy and I'm proud also. Part of this, uh, How is the experience so far, Chef? Is it easy to teach uh, uh, the techniques, or do you find it difficult teaching the techniques? Some is a critical stage. Some is easy, uh -huh, but uh -huh. almost uh, in a regular way. A regular way. There's okay. a part, some critical, especially in a part of a pastry, in a cream, mm -hmm. in a chocolate, especially in a chocolate, because chocolate is a sensitive. Uh, Sensitive uh, Ingredient. uh, yeah, ingredients of the pastry. Yeah, I see. We need to take care of the texture, the shiny, and the I consistency. See. Chef, what is your advice for people who are just new uh, bakers? What do you? What, what advice can you give them? Actually, being a <laughs> chef in a long time, this is only always happen. In the first process, it's always hard. You need I persistence. See. You need endurance. You need uh, motivation also. Exactly. <laughs> it was very hard in the in the start in the beginning. Always hard. I see. Sometimes okay. people they are aggressive to start, but uh -huh. in the time of difficulty, they will stop. Okay. So you chef, need persistence. Thank you, Chef. Can you kindly introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Chef Romel. Uh, now uh, I'm working in this industry almost 14 to 15 years. Uh -huh. uh, now I'm working pastry chef in a Rotom's company, and I've been also in a gastronomical company here in Kuwait. I see. And I've been also in a Saudi. In a, I'm stuck from the I see. Chef, invite the rest of the other people who are watching this video who might want to become a part of your class. Uh, yeah. To those people uh, want to learn extra knowledge, extra uh, ability, extra skills. skills. Yes. Yeah. This is cool. It's perfect, perfectly much for you. So come and join us <laughs> and have uh, some fun in skill also. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Well, it, it, it's it's a great it's a great experience uh, watching this. Um, Kababayans, actually our colleagues are also Filipinos, uh, uh, come up with uh, something from zero, you know, um, because they need to bake the cake from, uh, from most essential uh, procedures to what they can come up with later on. So uh, the chefs are actually working very hard uh, monitoring uh, the products that they could actually produce towards the end to make sure that they're very impressive to make sure that they learn the, the techniques on how to do it what I heard from the chef today is that they're doing the uh, technique called ganache um, this is a, a very uh, it's, it's a very uh, tedious um, technique like they need to bake the cake from the house and they need to freeze the cake for about a day and then at the same time uh, they will need to um, uh, come here and then do the proper frosting and then from the frosting they need to uh, rest it for a while and then uh, freeze it a little bit before they pour in the chocolate so it comes out with a glaze towards the end and also um, they'll be taught basically now on how to do the different decorations on top of the cake ganache is one of the most it's it's a French technique that would work a lot with uh, uh, pastries uh, uh, French pastries no, uh, bakeries and, and this is one of the techniques that we try, that they try to give them and um, we're very happy that um, that they are doing it very well. I can see there it, its excitement is in everybody's face. Uh, it's an additional knowledge for them. Uh, things that they can, some of them, as we heard, 
they might sell them online and some of them I heard that they might um, sort of open up uh, their own businesses back home. We heard someone says he might open a business in Pakistan because husband is Pakistani and, uh, and most of them say they might be going home for good also and they might open up their own business. Wow! You know, it makes me feel like I really wanted to join the class. Uh, it is something that I probably am not very good at. I'm good with hot food, but when it comes to uh, baking, it, it's something else. There's really a science behind it, and uh, you need to learn that science in order for you to come up with a very successful product towards the end of the class. Well, I hope you like my blog today. It's all about the International Culinary Arts introducing their advanced baking classes. For Ricky Laxa reports, this is Ricky Laxa. Good afternoon, everyone.